Hey, y'all, and thank you for tuning in to Divine Feminine Tarot Tea. If you like what you see, okay, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, okay, hit the bell. Okay, if you want to be here every single time, me and the tea team are over here getting it in with these good old tarot messages. For personal readings, please go ahead and reach out to dftarot at gmail.com. Okay, all readings are $44.44. And do include a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Okay. And additional details will be available in the comment section or the, uh, you know, the little bio section right below this video. Y'all, we're about to get into some really uh, serious stuff today. Um, so this is what I'm getting and this is what we're going to read for y'all. There is a dark energy family. There is a demonic family. Okay. I'm a demonic bloodline. Um, that someone in the DF, they are preying on you. They want you to become a part of a demonic soul tie with them. You're also being courted to be a part of this demonic family and be a part of their bloodline, whether you know it or not. Um, it is an invitation to join the dark forces. Um, in the natural realm, this looks like a relationship. It looks like a love relationship. Um, but in the spiritual realm, it is so much more than that. Um, it is your invitation to merge your bloodline with a demonic bloodline. Um, this demonic bloodline is very powerful. Um, there is a lot of power that comes with them. Maybe the family is very large. Uh, maybe they have a lot of ties with politics or uh, the police or the Masons or um, neighborhood gang affiliations. You know, um, actually, they may have all of these connections. Okay. Um, and these people aren't good people, but they have been highly, highly, highly gifted by the demonic one with power, with resources, um, far beyond your wildest dreams, okay? Um, you may not have these same types of resources. And so this is why the dark one thinks he can seduce you with entry into this family. But what I'm getting is that there is a DF, um, could be a DM as well. Our divine uh, part of the collective, you don't see this for what it is. You're not seeing it. You're not seeing it. You're also perhaps seeing the, the, the person you're dating, okay, as separate from this conglomerate, this demonic conglomerate that is their bloodline, that is their family, okay? Um, this is what's coming to me, y'all. There's some... There's some this person is trying to cloak you, okay, in mystery. We're talking, we're talking spiritually. They're trying to cloak you where you're not really able to see who they really are, um, what they really are, where they really fit in, okay? And we're just going to get started, okay? We're just going to get started, child, because it's, it's some stuff going on, okay? Again, the garden. This person has a lot they have a lot, okay? This is someone who is um, very, very abundant, okay? They are very abundant. However, they are a snake. What did I just say? Um, very much seven of swords energy here. This person is a cheat. They're sneaking around. Um, the snake, you know, they bring with them temptation. They bring with them um, fornication. They bring with them lies, okay? And they seem to be very lucky, you may find that even though this person isn't a good person, they keep getting the better jobs. They keep getting the better opportunities. They keep having, um, you know, abundance. There's so many children born in their family. There's so many. Everybody has a great car. Everybody has a great crib. Everybody has all of these amazing things, okay? And there is a lady in this that is the anchor to much of, much of this, okay? Okay. There is a female energy that is the anchor to much of this. She is someone who is married into this. This is a matriarch. Okay, this is a matriarch. This comes off a woman's bloodline. Um, this woman may be going around calling herself a Christian and saying that she is for Jesus. Um, she may even believe that she is, okay? But the truth is the things that go on around her and what she participates in, she is everything but, okay? Okay. She is everything but. This woman is in a, in a position like a dog, as the Bible says, as a dog goes back to his own vomit, okay? You know, you don't want to 
keep going back to your sins and keep going back to the darkest parts of yourself. But that is what this matriarch always does. She chooses evil over and over again. She has passed this on into her family. Okay. We also see a gentleman. This is a whole family. Again, this is the matriarch and the patriarch of this family are no good. Okay. So that's where it starts. The matriarch and the patriarch of this family is no good. Um, you're not dating the matriarch and the patriarch, though. You're dating some of these people's children. You're, you're, on, you're dating some of their lineage. This is down the bloodline, whoever you're dating. The matriarch and the patriarch of this family, okay, um, they're older people as far as you're concerned. They may be old enough to be your grandparents, okay? However, you are dating um, or have dated someone that is a part, okay, of their bloodline, a part of their lineage, a part of their mess, okay? <clears throat> this is serious, y'all. This is serious. This came to me. Um, this is heavy. Y'all need to hear this. And realize that in dating, a lot of times, you don't realize who you're dating, okay? Okay? Have to get a little coffee, all right? Um, Y'all don't realize who you're dating and how far down the rabbit hole dating them goes, okay? This is some serious spiritual stuff. Okay, Knight of Wands. This, this is um, a masculine, feminine, this person is this person is flamboyant. This person is someone you would notice um, from a million miles away. You did notice them from a million miles away. You did notice them from a million miles away. You saw them. Um, you recognize that this person was somebody that goes for what they want. You knew that they were someone that goes for what they want. This person had a spiritual covering over them from that matriarch, okay? From that patriarch. Those people pray over their children. Um, and by pray, I don't necessarily mean they're pulling out a Bible or anything like that. But these people are always trying to cover and protect their children. They're very large family. They try to set them up for luck. This person has a lot of people behind them that were prepared, was propelling them forward in spite of anything they may have done. There's a lot of people behind this person propelling them forward, okay? Pushing them forward. And that's part of why you notice them. This person may not have the most to give on the outside. They may not actually be the smartest or the, the fastest or any of that. But they've got a lot of adornments around them in the spirit realm. In the spirit realm, this person has gold balls all around them. They have um, red around them. They have... Um, all types of, of just little bobbits and things around them that make them beautiful in the spirit realm. That It makes them shiny. It makes them noticeable. Okay? A lot of this has to do with their family. It has to do with their affiliations. It has to do with spiritually their bloodline and where they come from. This person comes from a bloodline where there was someone demonic on their bloodline at the very high up end that was like a slave master or a slave driver somebody that was very cruel very evil and was able to replenish themselves constantly based on the gifts and the hard work and the toil and the labor of the slaves okay that was always the case this person was like a two-gun slinger y'all this was somebody that would do anything to anybody out there on that plantation or where or wherever the crops were to make sure that those crops were continuing to be set up for them to win for them to be prosperous for them to have what they needed okay and this person that you come in contact with they still have a lot of that person's demonic energy on them okay this person was from the 17 or 1800s they still have a lot of that demonic energy on them Okay, that is why they seem so noticeable, so flamboyant, like they're just going for what they have. You are seeing the inner, a very, a very old energy, a 250 year old energy on this person. Okay, and this person is very gifted at making a fool of, of God's, of trying to, right? But of making a fool of God's people. You know, if God's people do not have themselves covered, they're not praying. 
This person is able to get in and manipulate their environment, manipulate their circumstances, and they pride themselves on that. This is the type of person that feels that if they just show up with a bouquet of flowers and they have a smile on their face, they can seduce anybody. Okay, because they're driving off of this very old energy. There was also an old Don Juan energy attached to this slave driver. Um, and this person believes that between that slave driver energy and that Don Juan energy, those demons, they're able to just pull up. All I need is, is, a, is a, a silver tongue, a bouquet of roses, and I can transform any situation, aka I can manipulate any situation. Okay, that's what they believe. Okay, they also have swords behind them because of their lineage. This person is very powerful. There are still this this is a wealthy family. That slave driver and that Don Juan. Maybe the family owned a wealthy plantation. Okay. Maybe they owned a very wealthy plantation at one point. They have a whole army behind them, some immediate soldiers. There are soldiers behind them that agree with them when they go out and do this evil so they they aim for someone they aim for a divine feminine and they say i want her i'm gonna seduce her there are multiple so soldiers in the spirit realm i won't say soldiers i will say they're soldiers but they're ancestors okay these are ancestors of this person the same demonic ancestor frequencies that got behind this don juan and the slave driver this person is still able to make it this person is still able to do it Based upon the energy of this Don Juan and this slave driver, this is the same army, okay? They have been given the benefit, the dark benefit of the same army as this slave driver and this Don Juan spirit of 250 years ago. So they have the same force behind them, okay? It could even be a fraternal organization, okay? But they have the same force behind them, okay? They also have a, a spirit spouse, okay? That is helping them carry the load of all of this, of these executions, um, of all of these de demonic energies. This person is somebody that goes after things to procure them. You know, um, they will manipulate someone in order to get them to get a deed to their house. They will manipulate a feminine to get access to her car and then they're going to be still in this demonic union. This person is using all of this you know ancient nonsense to power his demonic union with a very um this person that feels they're in demonic union with this masculine she is but a servant she's a minion okay she has no spiritual ranking of power or power of her own she is a minion she is a spiritual slave. If anybody saw Vampire in Brooklyn, okay, if y'all recall Kadeem Hardison's character or Dwayne Wayne, for those of y'all that watch A Different World, Kadeem Hardison's character in Vampire in Brooklyn was someone that the vampire turned into his slave, okay? He made him one of the undead and he made him responsible for driving his car, doing his dirty work, that's what this person's spiritual spouse is here. They have somebody that they're in a spiritual, no, in a soul tie with here in the earth realm. This person may believe that they share equal footing with this, this demonic masculine. They don't. They are just a, they're just like a ghoul. They're a servant. They're somebody that has been turned, has been changed. You know, like the vampire bites someone. Okay, and now they are changed. They are chained to that person and changed forever. This person's soul has been given to this person, okay, um, in some type of exchange, spiritual exchange. Um, it may have been a sexual exchange. They may have done something sexual in order to get access to this person's bloodline, okay? They may also have children with this person. Um the burden for the divine feminine in this has been relatively uh, heavy and relatively discouraging um, because you've consistently looked at your heart in all of this. You've, you've consistently heard the cherubim playing, the angels playing. You've consistently heard promise and happiness. This is what you believe. And because you are spiritually covered, 
you've kind of been able to believe these things um, because you've been so protected from the truth of how deep, dark, and foul of a spiritual situation this is. Okay? You've been able to kind of sit and believe that something more may have been happening, may have been capable of happening with this divine masculine. You knew that this divine masculine was a dark person, okay? But just in sacred heart energy, you still had faith. Um, you, let me tell you, this masculine, mm, this masculine has been able to get into your life. He may have been there for up to eight years or more. Um, this person has been able to get into your life, I'm going to tell you. Because you have a lot of Mary Magdalene energy, okay? Mm. Thank you, Spirit. And you followed this person through to the end, never abandoning them. This is what a divine feminine is supposed to do, okay? Never abandoning them. Always side by side with them. Always willing to offer them flowers, to offer them, uh, you know, here, I can cover you. I can help you because you're covered anyway. So it meant nothing to you to offer covering to this person, okay? Okay? But what you are not understanding is that this person is the Antichrist. This is not the Christ. Mary Magdalene followed the Christ. And she made way for him and provision for him. You know, she was the first to see him resurrect. Let me tell you something about this. Mm. Let me tell you something about this. In this instance, this is the Antichrist. And in you following along with his story or believing that if he just gets more prayer or believing that. Because this man, let me tell you something about your presence in this man's life. Along the line of the God frequency. This man's life and your presence in it versus this minion that he has here. This man could have chose you. And he would have been cleansed. Because with you comes a monsoon. There's a monsoon that comes with you, okay? A cleansing. You sit through these cleansings, cleansings all the time spiritually. They're part of what comes with being a divine. Is you get caught in the rain and the abundance and the cleansing of the Most High. Had this man ever chosen you, he would have been cleansed along the way. Just because that's what comes with the divine frequency. He's never chosen you. Chosen you. And just as with Mary Magdalene, Mary Magdalene was the first one to see the Christ resurrect whom she had followed, who she had believed in. You will be the first to see this antichrist spirit die. You're going to see his death. You're going to see it coming. You're going to be the first one to sense, uh-oh, he, he's going too far. He's gotten too lost in evil. He's not going to be able to make it back. He's not going to be able to save himself. He's now of reprobate mind. You're going to be the first person to see the signs that he has now started along the road to his own death. You're going to be the first person to see that. Because y'all have to remember about the Antichrist. Okay? That is a story that is... That is an entity that is the inversion of the Christ. Okay? So, in this case, you are still a divine frequency. You will be the first person to sense this man has started his road to the end. Okay? You won't see him resurrect. He's not going to resurrect. He's not a God. He's not the God frequency. But you're going to be the first one to say, hey, you may even say to a group of people that know him, we might should stop going around that person. He, he, he's lost. He's gone. He's gone. Okay? You're going to be the first person to see that he's on his way out um what did i just say nine of swords um this may start for you with spiritual turmoil you're going to start to realize that this is not right that things are going bad for him it may start with spiritual turmoil i'm going to tell you why it starts with spiritual turmoil it starts with spiritual turmoil because this man's going to have a hold of your thoughts okay this man's gonna no pardon me i'm i'm not that's not what i meant to say this man's attempt is to get a hold of your thoughts. That's what he works with. Can he get you to believe something that's not true? But you are divine. You're not going to accept that. Your, your, your spirit is going to rise up and say, no, 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 no. Uh-uh, something counterfeit going on here. And this is where he puts you into a sense of turmoil. Okay? That comes with him. 
when this man comes towards the divine, he, he, he's, he runs into trouble because the divine spirit is like, no, this ain't right. But this man is still going to try to come to you and offer you the book of lies. Okay? The book of lies. Maybe even things from the book of the law. Okay? These are things that come from Aleister Crowley. If you're not aware of him, he is one of the darkest, most demonic occultists to ever live. Okay? That is the energy I'm picking up here. This man comes from that school of thought, whether he knows it or not. And this man knows spiritually that you carry a Bible with you. He doesn't know these are the things he's picking up. But remember, this bloodline is old and demonic. This bloodline may have had a problem with you and your bloodline 250 years ago. This man knows, okay? This man knows that you carry the holy book with you. And by holy book, I mean symbolically. In your heart, you're one of them. Okay, this man knows you are a light soldier. He knows it. He keeps trying to offer you, in replace of that Bible, this man wants to offer you the book of lies. He wants to offer you the book of the law. He wants to offer you something of the beast, the mark of the beast. He's trying to get that Bible out of your hand and out of your heart. He's trying to take your light energy. You have a sword of light in your hand. He's trying to remove it from your hands without you noticing that that's what he's trying to do. That is his frequency and his energy in your life. Queen of Wands. Okay. This man is in love with you. Yeah, right? Isn't that something? This demonic frequency. This person has been in love with you for hundreds of years. Okay. This isn't the first time y'all met each other. But notice you carry the light. You carry the light. This man wants to know why somebody as fine as you and as sexy as you would be carrying the light. Baby, you can make money. On the dark side with me. Baby, you could sell dope with me. You could sell ass with me. Okay? We could be a demonic couple making money out here getting to it. Why are you carrying that light with you? Why are you choosing that? Don't you know all the ways we could be getting money out here through thievery? If you do what I tell you to do, baby, and lie like I tell you to lie, I'll take you on the ride of your life. I could take you... And make you a princess in the hell realm. Because see you have princess energy. And it's being used in the light realm. You're getting blessings from the most high. He's keeping a halo upon you. And allowing you to walk freely with friends and family and people that love you. This antichrist energy is saying. That sounds like a waste of a halo to me. Why not just come and offer yourself to me. If you were to offer yourself to this man and his hell realm energy, this minion that he has, she will have to serve you too. He would turn her into a servant for the both of you. He feels like that's an offering. He feels like that's something that he can offer you that's amazing. Remember, we're dealing with a slave driver and a Don Juan spirit, okay? Just keep in mind who we're dealing with here. Okay? The Eight of Wands. When this man opens his mouth with all these lies, he also projects thought frequencies. Okay? This man also projects thought frequencies. So he's troubling. He, he's somebody that is troubling for if there's a if there's a woe, woe be unto an uncovered divine masculine or feminine in the frequency of this demon. Because they're gonna lie to you. In a way that affects your thoughts. This is a highly manipulative frequency. Okay. A highly manipulative frequency. Um, Divine Feminine. This person sees you almost as an adult film star. They think you are that fine. And that bad. And they don't understand why you're not taking that route. Left up to them. They will be putting you out calendars. They will be putting you in films. They don't understand why, you, why you're wasting yourself. Carrying that light. Okay. And they see the life in you, the life and the and the 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 the, uh, the abundance in you spiritually. They want that. They're coming to take that from you, okay? Because in the end, they would make you they you would sit upon the thrones of hell with them. This is what they want. They're looking for their queen. They got a slave. They have not found their queen, somebody that will Give their soul over to him and allow him to use them. 
to be a high ranking within his demonic family. See, the demonic matriarch of this family, she's getting older. Okay? She's getting older. There needs to be someone new, someone powerful. Someone that carries a lot of spiritual power. Somebody that carries a lot of spiritual weight. Somebody that speaks and there's a trembling. Okay? That is what this masculine wants from you. He wants you to be his queen. He wants to take over the reins in that family. He wants to, when his parents or grandparents go on off to glory, he wants his family, his wife and him to be the next to rule over the family, okay? Your family doesn't have a lot of family in it. There may not be a lot of babies. There may not be a whole lot of camaraderie. There may not be a unity. This family is completely unified across the board. And the devil is trying to use that to lure you over there. He's trying to say, hey, all you got left is your auntie. Okay, and two nieces. But if you go over there, baby... You'll have a family of 300. You'll have Masonic connections. You'll have gang affiliations. You'll have political affiliations. You'll have familial affiliations. You'll have bloodline affiliations. You'll have sports affiliations. You'll have pimp and street affiliations. You will have church affiliations. This, this family brings with them affiliations to over 800 demonic forces. Okay? All glamour magic and all powerful. This family looks good from the outside, Jack. A lot of people won't end to this family. Okay? Women won't end. Men won't end. There's so much glamour magic attached to them that there's a lot of divine energies fighting to be a part of these people's bloodline because they don't know. They don't know the behind the scenes. They don't know the demonic layers that's attached to this family that go back for hundreds of years. They do not know. They just see the glamour. They see the mirror. And they say, if I could get over there with them, people would respect me. People would love me. I would automatically have 30 or 40 nieces and nephews. This family is big. This family is big like the Jackson family is big. Okay? They are a force. They are an entity like the Jacksons, like the Kennedys, like the Osmonds. Okay? Like the Wayans. This is a big family and they have some serious affiliations. And the devil knows you, divine, stand in your truth and your light on your own, okay? Your bloodline is full of solo warriors, people that fought these demons head on by they self and won. That's how powerful you are. But this glamour magic, okay? This man may have a lot of sisters and his sisters love you. And you think I would have all these sisters? This would be great. But it's a trick. It's a trick of the enemy, okay? The Eight of Cups. It's a trick of the enemy. There are actually demonic tears within this frequency, okay? This man uses guilt and shame to control people, to keep them in a, a spirit of tears. And he's always thinking of a way to do it, but I'm going to tell you something about him. He wears a crown of tears upon his head. He lives in weariness. He lives in deceit. He lives in lies. It's where he lives. It is the way that he functions every day. Okay? Four of Wands. What did I just tell you? That's a demon that is trying to pull you into a marital situation. This here is the same frequency. It's the same, same feminine on each of these cards. This man wants you to be covered by him and the hell frequency. He wants you to be covered by that. He does not want you to be covered by the God frequency. He has no respect for that. This man wants you to be covered in the hell realm frequency. Okay? There will be two demonic pillars on fire to either of your sides. Okay? You will get a chariot, a fire-drawn chariot that will take you through all types of demonic storms. You would be powerful in the hell realm if you sell your soul to this man. Okay? This man will put you in high sexual energy. Okay? Okay? You may be some sort of a madam for this horror of Babylon situation that he got going on in his spiritual life. Okay. This is, this is a situation where the devil is trying to get you to sell out. 
Okay? That's what it's all about. Trying to get you to sell out. Trying to get you to transition, Six of Swords, to go ahead across that water over to the land of mystery, over to the land of the dead. That is what he's trying to do. Okay? This is a ploy. This is a play. This man does not come by himself. He is a representation of hundreds of years of attempts for the dark one to take over your bloodline. And what may be happening is that because there's not as many people on your bloodline as there is on his, the devil feels like there's not enough of you to fight back. And he knows that you may feel disempowered. So he's saying, hey, come over here and join this family so you have some people behind you. Okay? Look at you. Your family is dwindled down. It's only 28 of y'all. Come over here with us. Come over here with us. We 800 strong in the spirit realm, 300 strong on earth, 100 strong right up next to you. Come over here with us. We'll give you the top floor. Okay? The matriarch, she getting a little older. She getting tired. She can't, she can't do the front anymore. But she looks like a praying woman. But she's out here being a manipulative and operative of dark forces at night. You got some energy. You got a lot of ranking in the light, the light energy realm. You got a lot of, uh, of, of mouth. Where when what comes out of your mouth reads like a spell. It changes the entire environment. Come on over here. Come join us. Come join us. Okay? It's an invitation. We can use you over here. We can use you over here. Come on. No, no problem. You want a baby? You haven't had a baby yet? You want a baby? We'll give you eight. Come over here with us. You know this man is fertile. We'll give you a big family. You'll be a part of something real, okay? That's the energy they're coming with. Seduction. Three of Pentacles, baby. This demon is letting you know, I'll go down to the root of things. I'll give you three kids. I'll water, I'll water your line. I'll change your life. You will suddenly enter abundance if you come over here and give your spiritual energy to me. See, you're a priestess energy. Priestess, princess, high ranking on so many levels. You're divine. You're, you're, you're. One of the most highest, most precious. Because you've lived a life that sustained you for many things. There are many things you've never been a part of. This man is saying, let me sully you up. Come over here with me and I'll put you, I'll put you at the top of the totem pole. Okay? The top of the hell totem pole. Okay? This man is coming over here saying, I'll fertilize your dreams. All you got to do, sell your soul. Come over here with us. Okay? Three of swords. Y'all see this heartbreak energy, okay? This man has already put at least two knives in your back for the sake of the order, for the sake of the bloodline. This man is trying to stab you up because once you down, once you really bleed, once you weaker than you can ever be, and that's all he's been waiting for in your life is a sign of blood, for something to happen in your life, for a major death to happen in your life, something that will open the door for him to come in and say, now I'm all you got. That's what this man has been waiting for. This may be a man that's been circling back and forth around in your life for years. Break up to make up. He's been married, but he still circled back. That's because this man is waiting for some blood, baby. He waiting for something to happen that will break you. You will be so weak. No money. No friends. Something needs to happen. And he's waiting for that moment so that he can then say, come join us. Won't you come join us? Okay, that's what this is all about. And he's been waiting and watching for any sign of blood. It could be insecurity. It could be sadness. It could be unemployment. It could be anything. But this man has been waiting for his moment. He's been waiting to hear from the, the, from the, dark, the, the dark messengers. He's been waiting to hear a message. When can I get her? Okay, he's been waiting to be given the, not the okay, but the cue that this is the moment. He's waiting to hear that demonic energy tell him she's weak now. You can go in. Okay. You can, you can conquer her now. Okay. This man is going to come in always trying to present himself as a lover. You know, I love you. This is how he tries to come. I love you. But the truth is, this is a manipulator. Okay. It's all manipulation. It's all lies. He tries to put stars in your eyes so that you can't see him. This man specializes in blinding you and hiding behind a veil so that you can't see him. That's what he's all about. And it's confusing for you, divine, because you know something ain't right. You know something is off. As we saw earlier, he puts you in a position where your spirit has to keep rising up against your thoughts and saying, hey, what you think it is, is not. Okay, what you think it is, is not. 
That's a constant thing. That's an ongoing thing, okay? This man tries to plant lies in your mind so that they get big, they grow, they become vibrant. You believe these lies. This man is the author of lies. Y'all know who we're talking about now. We're talking about, we're talking about him that lives in the underworld, okay? This man functions as the author of lies. This man is a messenger of Satan so to the point that he is acting Satan out in the spirit realm. He is a walking, talking Satan in the spirit realm. Because y'all have to always remember, that is how... These demons and spirits and, and all, all of these spirits that are in the world, we are the actors, if you will, in this, in this earth realm. We act out the frequencies of whom we serve. Us that are divine, we act out the frequency of the most high. We're going to be the ones that teach. We're going to be the ones that give. We're going to be the ones that speak up for injustice. We're going to be the ones that take care of the stray animals, that take care of the elderly, that speak up for those who can't speak up for themselves because that's who God is. And we stand in this earth frequency and we behave as God behaves. But the same is going to be said for the Antichrist energy. And in these dark, dark times, okay, where the anti Antichrist frequency is out here everywhere running loose, there are those that are acting as Satan in the earth. Okay, they come to kill, steal, destroy. They come to lie. They come to undermine. They come to confuse and deceive. And they want more. They want more. They're recruiting. And this man is trying to recruit you to the dark side. And by doing that, he figures he can do it if he can just get you to really believe a lie. He got to make the lie look good. That's how he got this minion that he got in the first place. She believes a lie about him that's not true. And she is now enslaved to a demonic frequency. Okay? Seven of Wands. Okay? Seven of Wands energy. This man is trying to get you to wonder. And if you just would wonder into his realm, if you believe enough of his lives to just wander off into the realm that he that that is his realm, the dark realm, just wander in there, just just two or three feet in. This man could close in on you because you're gonna get lost out there. That's what he's hoping for. For you to just get lost enough in his lies. For you to not be sure what's true and what's false. For you to no longer be able to tell the difference between the real and the fake. That's what he wants. That's when he'll be at his strongest. Okay? Strength energy. That's when he'll be at his strongest. Okay? Baby, this man has a silver tongue. This man speaks lies. Okay? Nothing but lies. Nothing but lies. Nothing but lies. He's dry. He don't have no, no real spiritual eyes or nothing. He's being operated through. This man is dead. There may have been a soul here in this man at one point. That you might have been able to really connect with. That would have taken him into his divine masculine. He abandoned that soul. His mother spoke that soul off of him when he was a child with curses. Okay, speaking to him foul. Speaking to him filthy. She took his soul from him ages ago. Now he has nothing left. He's an antichrist spirit. Spirit. Okay. Period. He's an antichrist spirit. This man rolls with the whores of Babylon. That's who he rolled with. That's his team. He has the women around him. And there are more women in his harem than you know of there's eight or nine these people are whores but they are servants they don't have enough energy to sit at the throne with him he looking for somebody that's got it that spiritually they bad than a bitch okay that's who he looking for and that's you you are one of the prime workers for the most high okay he's saying i want that i want that on my team that girl can see what's in front of her, okay? That's a masculine that can read the signs and the signals of the spirit realm. They know what's coming, okay? They know what's coming. They know where we've been. They know their scripture, okay? If I turn them into a witch for the dark side, that's not what he's looking for. A witch is too light. This is this person is looking for somebody... To really be a dark, a dark matriarch. I mean, this is somebody that will reign over even witches. This person is a warlock and they are looking for some serious, serious heavyweight. Somebody that they can use for their demonic plots. This person would try to use you to speak their money into existence. Use you to use your body to seduce men. The men that they want to get money from. They'll say, you go talk to him for me. Okay? You sleep with him for me. Okay? We need to get this money. You go down there to these women and pretend to be an angel of light and talk to them. So they'll feel comfortable taking advantage, getting taken advantage of and giving us their money. Okay? 
This man is looking to utilize your spiritual gifts because you're so high ranking in the light realm that it sickens him that it's not something that is being used to better him. And that's his real interest in you, okay? Two of Pentacles. This man wants you and him to be eye to eye, okay? We here, okay? That's what he's looking for. He wants y'all to be eye to eye, soul to soul. That is what he wants. He wants y'all to be a dark energy couple. Okay? He wants you to sell his soul and come with him. This is very common now. These types of, of couplings. Okay? It's the new wave. It's the new age. It's the new world order. Okay? These demonic marriages. In the future, and not even the forest future, because it's already happening, you're going to start seeing the doing away of paper marriages. The, the idea of a paper marriage, by that I mean like official, we went to church, we signed the paper, is going to gradually become antiquated because people are going to start functioning in demonic soul ties and marriage is going to become more of a demonic faction of, of the hell realm. It's go, marriage is going to start taking up a bigger space in the hell realm, these demonic marriages. No, it's not on paper. Nobody ever said nothing about it being on paper. They're not even going to take that route. That's, that's the right route of the most high. Mm-mm. We just say we marry. That's why terms like wifey and things have become a major player in the last 10, 20 years. Because we're now talking about just, just relationships built on sexual ritual. That's it. Okay? We over here together in, in, in bisexual, uh, you know, activities together. So, you know, we're, we're in these, we're in these uh, bisexual activities strictly for money, strictly for clout. Strictly so we can have an account with certain adult sites that will bring us money. We might not even feel like this is who we really are, but this is a level of deception we'll get in. Okay? He may be telling women that in order to be his queen, they're going to have to sleep with, you know, however many men. Okay? Sexual ritual. That is going to become marriage. Okay? Society is becoming more and more and more like an ancient or barbaric occult practice. By that I mean the laws and the ideas. They're getting further and further away from the Christian and Catholic values that built a lot of societies that we're familiar with. And they're going back to the, 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 the deep occult craft of hundreds of years ago. Okay? This man is a badass. You know, there's something badass about him. People may respect him for his ability to fight or his ability to uh, go through doors. Let me tell you something about this man. This man is a demon. But he has been able to go through and portal himself into dimensions where the divine feminine is he's not even supposed to be able to access the divine feminine but he's got some rank that allows him to travel through dimensions and portals and get to people he shouldn't even be able to get to okay it's like he's got an access pass but it's coming from his ancestors again this is a very powerful bloodline and they want to get more powerful because the age that we're in now a lot of them demons from back there that still want to be relevant, they still want to be part of the scene, they still want clout, they still want to be seen. The magic that they were doing then is no match for the technological age, okay? The technological age has raised the, the standards of magic. The level of light energy you need to be effective right now has to be higher. The level of hell realm energy you need to be a dark piece of shit has to be that much darker. So they're looking to recruit very powerful people or they're going to gradually kind of fall to a standard. They're going to stop ascending because they need more power now in this new age. Okay? The age we in now, a lot of witchcraft, okay, or or um, spell work practices, technology does it, right? Technology allows us to see into other people's lives to spy on other people, to become um, connected with people that are in whole other spaces. I mean, it's really a outer worldly thing, this internet. You know, I can definitely believe it was created by some level of alien forces. 
That's very easy to believe. Because it is a time traveler, okay? It allows us to travel time to, to defy time and space, okay? It is actually a very demonic entity, but, you know, that's a whole other conversation for another day. And with this level of demonic entity manifesting into the earth realm, that puts everybody at a certain level, right? So these people need to ascend this level. These dark energies, these dark demons from back yonder, they need to ascend, even that level, okay, in order for them to remain on the throne in the hell realm. So they're looking to recruit some major, some major light energy workers because they see that there's so many divines that are just, are just powerful, okay? They want that. Come join us. Come join us, okay? These people are trying to create a tower moment. Now, you know, most people would run away from the tower, but not these people. These are demonic folks. These people want to create a tower because in the rubble and the confusion, this man can present himself as, as your savior. Okay? He can present himself as your savior and get you, get you over there with him to join, to join his bloodline. Okay? Six of Wands. Look at this. Look at this. An army. They want you to join the army. They want you to join their bloodline. Six of Pentacles. They want an exchange of energy. You know, they're saying, uh, my life for your life, okay? Come join us. Let us exchange with you. The star energy, okay? This is a very uh, Luciferian bloodline. And what they're doing is using their star and they're trying to illuminate it in your life so that it looks bigger than the light of the Most High, okay? They want you to stumble. They want you to say, but I could just do this. I could just go over here with them. It's what they're trying to do, okay? They're trying to separate your head from your soul. Remember, because your soul keeps telling you this ain't right. They're trying to break that up, spiritually speaking, okay? Spiritually speaking. They're trying to break that up, baby. Okay? Six of Cups energy with the Nine of Cups. This person, I can't say it enough. Six of Cups with the Nine of Cups. This person wants to. Okay? This person wants to. This person will try to time travel with you. Again, I keep saying it. They will try to make y'all the new version of their mother and father. Another issue, okay, with their the previous matriarch and patriarch of this family. The matriarch and patriarch of this family may have actually tried to become light workers in their latter years. At least one of them. The devil ain't happy about that. He's trying to put a hell realm couple back at the top of that family. Okay? Because it's always been that way. And that's how they've gotten their success. Okay? That's how they've gotten their success. Okay? That's true T. They go to Ace of Swords. That's how they've gotten their success over the years. Okay? It's being a part of demonic frequencies and listening to demonic frequencies. That's been their success all their lives. Again, a slave driver and a Don Juan. You know, exploiting women, exploiting people that have less. And honestly, in this man's mind, whether he realizes it or not, the demonic frequencies that work through him are saying that of you. They feel that you have less than they do. And they feel that you're a woman. <laughs> okay? They feel that you have less than they do. And they feel that you can be taken into horror frequency. Okay? They don't see any reason why you wouldn't go for that. They just don't think anything you have is valuable. Nothing about you is valuable. Why don't you just come over here with us? You have all this power and you're just sitting out here with nothing and no one. Quit being an idiot, okay? Come over here, join up, have some babies with us. We'll give you, we'll give you booty. You know what I'm saying? Like pirates booty, stolen goods, okay? We'll give you stolen goods, things we've stolen from other feminists. This man has made a fool of other women. He's taken their money. You can have their money. Some of the women that this man is, is prostituting for or putting out to prostitute for him, 
Any money they make, you can have it. I'll give you their money. I don't care. Just be my queen. I'll give you anything. This man has been very mean to you, very cruel to you at different times because he wants you to join up and you won't. So he punishes you for being a light worker. He punishes you for not just giving yourself all over to him. This man hates you for that. He hates that your power is not under his control. Okay? This is about this is about demons. It's not about this man. This man is gone, dead. He's just a vessel. This is about demons. Okay? Period. Period. This man feels like something has happened to this man as well. His bloodline, his chance at ruling the bloodline is becoming weakened. Something has happened with his little minion, okay? And he doesn't have the same access that he once had. Three of Wands, there's been a message given to this man that's shortening his time on earth. Okay? He's drying up. This man's health or financial crises has gotten so bad that he doesn't have enough people to bleed because this man gets his energy from outside. Remember, this is a dead frequency. So he gets his energy from outside. There's not enough people left for him to drain. He doesn't have enough people in his life that he can drain at this particular time. And this man has been a mighty demonic warrior. Again, going into dimensions he shouldn't even go in. Draining people he shouldn't even have access to. But he's become weakened. He's become injured. And he doesn't have that same access. Something has happened to this man in the earth realm that has injured him. He does not have the same access to gain uh, entry to, to these people. But he's trying to find people that he can drain. But he's going so far down. He's been without real people to drain for so long that he's going, he slid so far down. Okay. That he has now been given a message from the satanic realm. Your days are being cut short. Because he doesn't have, he didn't have anyone to draw from. Okay. In order for him to avoid this. Okay, so he's going into transformation of legacy. You know, what he thought was going on and who he thought he was about to be, it has been disturbed. It has been disturbed. That minion that he was dealing with, okay? That minion that he was dealing with is drawing her energy from another outside source, some a demon, a straight up demon, not even a real person in the earth realm. There's a demonic force that she's getting some energy from. She's participating in something. She may have fallen off into excessive self-pleasuring or, or something weird like that. Um, she's lost it. Her mind and her abilities are, are just kind of out there. She may spend all of her time watching adult programming and self-pleasuring or something weird like that. Um, always too drunk to make sense. Okay, she's become lost. The demonic frequency has, has eaten her up. These people are starting to die. Okay, they're starting to die. These frequencies are eating them up. His health is failing him. Her mind is failing her. They're starting to die. She's gotten so seduced by some demon she can't let it go. It may also be some type of addiction, drug addiction or something like that. Okay. These people were set up. They let a demonic frequency into their life, possibly this Knight of Pentacles. They let a demonic frequency in their life that's working against them. They fell prey to trickery. These people were trying to trick you, trick everybody else. They fell prey to demonic frequency uh, and demonic trickery. They did not realize that the devil is loyal to no one, baby. They thinking that because they working for him, that they straight and all they got to do is try to find some light energy person to steal life from. No, ma'am. Some of the people in their life were working against them. They didn't know that. Four swords energy. And as they go down and die, huh? As they go down and begin to die, baby, these demons are going to nail their coffin shut. They're going to be there. Where they are now with her mind fluctuating and his health fluctuating, they're being lined up for death. They're being lined up for the coffin. 
They don't know. Three of Cups. They're being lined up for the coffin, okay? So this man, he's going to try to reach out to some of the older women in his family. Some of the older women in his family thinking that they can get a word. Somebody can tell them. Uh, basically speak a spell on their behalf. These women are influential women. They might own beauty shops. They might own um, some sort of music thing that they do. He's going to try to go to them for money. Something that will put abundance back into these people's lives. Because these people are now no longer quite able to procure their own resources because of this demonic force okay yeah they're about to try to alchemize these people want to start over they're dying okay they're going to try to start over they're they're not believing that it's real they're not believing that they could potentially come to their demise before they're able to rise in the hell the hell you know frequency this man was believing that he could get in touch with you and he could get you to become his queen and this may replenish his kingdom okay they're not realizing that wh where they're really headed with this these people are so busy in this divine union and what they're not realizing is all they're doing is exchanging their own sour thoughts and energies back and forth back and forth okay he's poor he's filling her head with a bunch of lies and she's holding on to him for love this creature this minion this this demonic frequency Is someone that's a bit absurd. This is an absurd person. You may notice they can't dress. There's something absurd about them. How they walk. How they talk. Something about them to you is comical. Okay. And this is how this person was able to get them. This person's confused. They had no God in them. And they were willing to do anything. And that's how this person got them to basically sell their soul out to them. Filling their head with lies. And this person believes they're in a real relationship with them. Okay. They still believe that these people, they believe they're together. Okay. They believe they're together. They believe this, they believe this is something heartfelt. It's not. Okay. It's just a demonic. This person is being used for demonic reasons to further this person's demonic agendas. That's all. Okay. <clears throat> That's it. That's all. These people are going to start calling on the dead, okay? This masculine is a warlock. He's a warlock that doesn't quite know that's what he is. He's just a vessel. He's operating in so much demonic foolishness, okay? Six of Wands. There is an entity right now that is working to cut down every single crop these people ever gathered while they're sitting up minding your business. Okay. Okay. This man wants you to offer your heart to him. He believes that if you offer your heart to him, he will have full control of you. He will eat your heart to replenish himself and he will render you one of the dead and he will begin to control you and possess you with these demonic uh, slave driver frequencies and, and Don Juan energies that he has. Okay. Five of Pentacles. This man will crush you beneath his heels if given the opportunity. Okay. He has no interest in no love for you. He is not interested in anything that is of God or of salvation. He could care less. Okay. Again, this man is looking to get you, to capture you, to carry you off and to own you. For him, that would be justice. But that's not what's going to happen. Justice comes to the most high and those that rock with the most high in this situation. Okay. Um, not something I'm sure he would want to hear, but that's the truth. Okay. King of Cups energy. That is the truth. King of Cups energy. This man is down to possibly drinking. Let me tell you what this man is doing. This man is practicing so much sex magic. This man may start trying to offer a lot of, um, you know, eating of the peach. This man doesn't realize this, but demonically speaking, this is to drink the, ne the nectars of the divine feminine. He gets his life from sexual juices, okay? This is where he gets life from. This man is deep into, um, you know, sexual indecency, okay? And this is where he gets his life from. 
okay? Taking, taking the nectar of divine feminine energies, okay? If this is a woman, she's drinking nectars of the divine masculine energy. This is how she's replenishing and repowering herself, okay? This is how he replenishes and repowers himself by drinking the truth, okay? The God frequency. He's, he's that blasphemous. Okay, he actually is sitting drinking of the God frequency in order to repower, empower himself to go back down into the hell realm. This is why his health is, is um, failing him now. His health, his, his little minion, her mental health. This is why it's failing them now because they have been doing things that were just flat out blasphemous in order to try to maintain position in this demonic bloodline that they're in. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, this man will try to put you down in the hell realm and he will never give you a way out. He would try to hold you captive because he knows you're an excellent source of vitality for him, okay? And he's trying to keep this, this hidden from you, this fact hidden from you, his real interest in you. Because you may have asked yourself before about this man, what is his real interest, okay? Four of Pentacles, okay? This man would want you to be someone that handled a great deal of his dirty work, okay? Cleaning up his dirty laundry, literally, okay? And in the earth realm. He would maybe say, have you saying prayers over him after he's done his dirty deeds. Um, he would use you for cord cuttings, you know, asking you to cut his cords and ties between him and, and anyone that he no longer wanted to be in relationship with for whatever demonic reason. He takes someone's money or he takes someone's sexual energy. They won't stop calling him. They won't leave him alone. He's going to tell you to do it. He's going to tell you to call that woman and curse her out. He's going to tell you to post something strange on Facebook to run that person off. He's going to tell you to threaten that person. He's going to start trying to use your energy. Okay. And the fact that you have muscle, spiritual muscle in order to cut cords and ties in his life. Okay. He's going to tell you to figure out how he, how he can, uh, deceive the human resources department down on his job, that type of thing. Okay. Seven of pentacles. This man may be stalking you right now because again, He's watching you on social media. This man wants your power, especially now because he's dying, okay? Knight of Swords. Spiritually or physically, this man is dying, if not both, okay? That demon is being starved because this man has not been able to feed this demon properly in at least three years, three to four years, okay? He has not been able to procure narcissistic supply. He has not been able to portal through to get into divine feminines. People are starting to see this man for the demon that he is or at least see that he ain't right. But nonetheless, these demons continue to try to, court, to coerce people into joining up by pointing out all of the things that his family has. Oh, we've got homes, we've got... You can just come over here with us. Lately, he has not been able to procure anyone. This man's physical appearance may have gone down. Something that is saying to women, I don't think I really want to get involved in this. This is If it's a woman, her physical appearance and even her hygiene may have gone down. And it's warding divine masculines off to say that something is not right over there. Okay? Knight of Swords. <clears throat> okay? This man feels he has fallen on his own sword with you because he's aware, even if he doesn't quite understand how the dark forces in his life work, he is aware that he needs help. He's aware that he needs a battery. Okay? Pay the sword's energy. This man knows he needs a battery. This man may be sitting down all day calculating, trying to come up with a new scheme, a new scheme, a new scheme. How can I scheme my way into getting a new battery? I got to do something, okay? This man now, is he's already in his coffin. He's already, it just hasn't been lowered yet. Remember I said if they get the lid on it, they're going to nail it shut. He'll never get out. This man feels himself going into a jam. He feels himself falling off. He feels the money leaving his pockets. He feels that his ancestors are no longer quite powerful enough in this new age to propel him forward. He feels the possibility of him becoming the new leader of the dark realms of his bloodline slipping through his fingers, okay? This man is, is afraid. He's terrified. He doesn't know how to procure new supply. The death energy has come through his life and she is pregnant, okay? She is going to manifest a new birth into his life. The new birth that this, this demonic um, frequency... That's come through his life manifest will be one that has control of his life. Okay. So something he's thinking about, something he's imagining, the scheme he's imagining in his own mind is going to be, it's going to manifest, but it's going to turn against him. Okay. It could very well be you divine feminine. It could be that he tried to recruit you and the prayers that you pray 
to keep yourself from being seduced and recruited by his bullshit are the very ones that bring the karma to his door. Something this man was trying to manifest becomes his undoing. Okay? Something that this man was trying to manifest becomes his burden. Manifest destiny works in reverse for him. Ten of swords and leaves him in a ten of swords and leaves him dead. And you're going to see it. However it plays out, if this man goes down, you're going to see all of it. Because remember what I said. This is an antichrist energy. Just as Mary Magdalene saw the Christ resurrected, so shall Mary Magdalene see the antichrist's death. You're going to see it. What did I just say? The high priestess. You're going to know the secret and you're going to see it. You're going to be the only, ones that, the only one that sees it. And the reason you're going to be the only one that sees it is because you're going to perceive it as much as six years before it happens. You're going to look through and say, this man is headed for absolute disaster. Something ain't right. This man's soul is missing. He sold his soul. What's happened to him? You're going to be the one to see it. His family's not going to see it because they're of the same frequency as him. So how the hell would they see it? But you're going to see it. And it's going to break your heart to see it. But you're going to see it. You're somebody that's going to come through his life almost like John the Baptist. The next time this man encounters you, it will be the harking. It will be the heralding. Of the angels of the most high. Announcing this man's demise. Okay. The chariot. Baby. The hell realm has pulled up on him. They just waiting outside for him to come out the house. He don't even know. They waiting to carry him off. If anybody saw the movie Ghost with Patrick Swayze. Y'all remember when them dark forces came and took that man away? Those same dark forces are sitting outside this man's house right now. This is his, his spiritual and physical home. And they're just waiting to collect because he's beginning to die now. And you know how when death comes, the vultures come to circle. That's what's happened. Okay, that's what's happened. Ace of Cups. Okay. Tears of sorrow are beginning to... A cup. Okay. Filled with tears of sorrow is beginning to collect for this man. This man is beginning to cry tears of sorrow because he can't get you. He can't get somebody that he knows is capable of saving him. He can't procure that. That's what he's trying to do. Okay? He notices that you're taking your resources back. He can feel it in the spirit realm. You're backing off. You're backing away. He can feel it. Okay? This man may be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. He may be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? Or fire sign. Not hearing much for earth signs. Fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, okay? This man is starting to die. His clothes are starting to look bad. He's starting to deal with arthritis that he never had before. His arthritis may not even be age appropriate. He's a young guy with arthritis. So he could be an older man. But I'm just saying. He's not had this level of arthritis before. But he's beginning to die spiritually. So he's starting to see changes in his body. Okay. He's starting to die. Okay. This man. Still has this big family around him. And he will still try to pull energy from him, from them to call himself an emperor. He's really going to try to still pull, pull from this slave driver Don Juan energy of the past. He's going to continue to try to pull from that to save himself. Okay. But this time of grief, his time of grief has arrived. And there's a storm coming to him. And the bad thing about this storm is that this man's going to be too confused to get out of it because he's never really encountered the most high at this level. He's going to come. He doesn't, he's not going to have anywhere to run to. This is it. It's closing in on this man. And what's so bad about this storm is that this man is already drowning when the storm comes. Okay, he's already drowning. And when the locusts come, they're going to eat everything. Even his kids. His kids are even going to see some curses from this. And this is the moment. 
that these demonic energies that were waged against him have been waiting for. Many of these demonic energies he led in his life, they're about to turn on him. The very ones he led in his life, like I said, the things he's manifested. Church bells ring when a judgment card comes through the building because this is a judgment card, okay? This is his judgment. The very things that he's manifested, they're about to drag him to hell. His own addictions, his own lies. He's going to try to run back to some of the divine feminines. They're all going to remember he lied to them. He can't come back. He won't be able to portal through again. Every bit of justice, every bit of awakening, every bit of divinity that this man has been functioning with is gone. Okay? He's going to try to run to that minion, but she's going to fall on her face. He's going to try to run to her to pull something. She also has lost her power. She's lost her looks. She's lost her ability to lie and be heard. These people are now going to be looked at like losers, like, like hypes, like lepers. People are going to say, ugh, she came over here trying to ask me if I could help her with some. She's disgusting. They're no longer going to be able to hide. They're going to look like just what they are. People that are desperate. People with potential drug addictions and money addictions that are desperate for someone to save them from drowning. And everyone's going to see them drowning, okay? They're going to see it coming, okay? This man is going to continue to try to think up schemes, though. That's who he is. He's going to continue to try to pick up things, think up schemes. Okay. Him and this woman are about to go out into the dark. And they're going to start getting accused of so many things. Everything they've done, they're going to start to get accused. And people are going to say, I realize what you did. There's a lot of accusation coming to these people. And he's going to make her the sacrificial lamb. He's going to put her out up out in front of him and let her take all the heat for the financial crisis, for his health crisis, for her mental health crisis, for all of their sexual indecencies, for all of the money they've stole, for all of the lies they've told. He's going to put her out front. Okay. But there's no getting out of this for them. They're about to go into a nightmare. Again, again, we see this man sitting at his coffin. He knows it's time, okay? He knows it's time for his persecution. He knows it's time for his death. He's just trying to find his way out of it. Look at this, the devil. The devil has come to collect, baby. It's, it's, it, it is what it is. I can't make it up, okay? He only had so much time to procure you as his new queen. He only had so much time to procure enough narcissistic supply to save him from the coffin. He only had so much time to do this. He was not able to do it. He is considered a failure at his mission. And now we see these demons have come to collect his ass. We see the devil himself has come to collect him because him and whoever his, his karmic feminine were, they were nothing but pop puppets anyway. They were being controlled by demonic forces. Okay. All the demonic forces come from his bloodline. They were never themselves, okay? And now the Prince of Darkness is upon them, okay? And now the Prince of Darkness is upon them and is going to focus on them to leave nevermore. They have entered the dark. They're not coming out. These people have entered the dark, y'all. His opportunity... To be the master of the family is over. Okay, he wanted to procure a woman. He never procured a woman from the divine strong enough. He couldn't do that. He couldn't flip anybody. Because that's what he was trying to do, flip somebody. Turn somebody out. Flip them from light to dark. He's never able to do that. The person that he did procure, like I said, she's nothing but a minion. Okay. This man represented a dark night in your life. You were never quite able to see his his um his goals, his purposes. He kept you confused, okay? That's the way this particular demon worked through him and kept him confused, okay? That's what he represented in your life, a dark night, somebody that was constantly in armor. You couldn't really see who they were. Um, if this person has not already, beware of them coming back around you. This dark night will try to propose to you. In order to get access to your finances and career in order to fatten himself, okay? Remember, this man is dying 
So he's only going to try to procure supply. That's it. He's a dying energy. He's a dying entity. And he still has this dream of becoming the new prince and prince and princess or king and queen of darkness over his family as his own parents are aging out. He is trying to carry the torch for those 250-year-old Don Juan and slave master spirits, okay? Slave driver spirits, okay? This man will try to imprison you. If he gets back into your graces again, be advised. This silver-tongued man is coming to jail you. He will try to get you in in a way where there is no getting out. This man has a lot of passion for you. Remember, there's that deep sexual attraction. He will try to use that sexual attraction to chain himself to you. This man will love bomb you, flirting, lying, and he will offer you an engagement. You don't think he will. You're saying this man don't like me like that because this man has you somewhat fooled. You're not really seeing him for who he is. You're not seeing the Jezebel demons all around him just yet. But let this be your warning. And you believe this man wouldn't want to marry me, you know. You know there's some karmic energies in place. You're saying he's a player. He's got his minions. He's got his dogs. He wouldn't try to marry me. But yes, he will. Yes, he will. Okay. This man will try to marry you and bring you into that demonic community and bloodline that he's a part of. Okay. Yes, he will. He will try to gain your trust. Okay. He would try to gain your trust. He would try to get you to release your divine masculine. There may be someone in your life at that time. This person is the real deal. This man is the counterfeit. He would try to get you to release your divine masculine. If this is a masculine, release your divine feminine in order to take him or her in. Out of the rain. Because remember, a storm is coming to this man. We just saw it. And he's already drowning. And he's going to try to swim to you in his drowned state. This man will try to marry you. Yes, he will. What? Spouse. What do I say? This man will try to marry you. Somebody out there, I'm telling you, you don't believe that. And that's what he's going to use to his advantage. He's going to say, I know you didn't think I was going to bring the ring, did you? <laughs> you, thought I was, you thought I was playing? Nah. I'm serious about you. It's a play. Because he's in bad health. I just told y'all this. <laughs> Car says, you, you understand me? He's in bad health. He may try to, try to give you a baby. Okay? This man also has a baby that he has told you nothing about. But one of these dark creatures that he deals with. That baby may also suffer. Because this baby may have... It's something weird about this baby. He had the baby by someone that is married or it's a sinful situation where there's a curse and a rumor around this baby that this baby don't deserve okay may this baby be blessed may her life be blessed i don't know why i say her it's a daughter okay look at this child i told you i told you and prayers to this child it's the most high is telling us to pray for this child whoever this child is may she be released from this man's sins okay Getting to know each other. This man will try, start trying to give you additional attention. I told you. Love bombing. Okay. Right now he's distant. Right now you're not hearing from him because he's having financial problems. And he's assessing the fact of the, the truth of his financial problems. This man is having financial problems at a level you wouldn't believe. Okay. This man is saying that his whole life is going to fall apart. Okay. Like he's having those kind of financial problems. They're they talking about taking the, the car. They're talking about taking the house. They're even talking about taking the dog. He has serious financial problems and his financial issues are going to come to a head not soon, but very soon. It's like you're going to hear from this man not soon, but very soon because he's about to try to jump ship on his financial problems. OK, he's going to try to leave them on that 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 minion that he has. OK. This man will try to convince you to keep an open mind when you start to notice or bring up his demonic energies. He tries to tell you that it's just because he, you know, you too judgy, you too judgmental. No, you're not. Okay, make sure you stay close to your friends and family so that you can keep your eyes clear because this man may try to confuse you because he's in the coffin. This man is dying. This man know the lid is finna close on his ass. His finances, his health, everything going, everything is closing in. He may also be afraid that he's about to hit a legal problem. Okay, steer clear of him because he'll try to hang that legal problem on you. Child support, some crime that he's been committing on the low. 
This man will sacrifice you to get that minion off the hook only because that minion has put in so many years of faithful service, if you will. Okay? He wants to stay in abundance with her because he knows he can control her without a question. He has spiritual dominion over her. Okay? This man is full of lies. Okay? But don't fret because your angels see it all. Not only do they see it all, they hear it all. They hear the thoughts in this man's heart, what, what, what there is of it, okay? They hear his heart. They hear his thoughts. They're telling you to continue to be a loving person even in spite of this man's filth and to heal your own family issues, okay? And the message to you, you're a healer. Continue to be a healer. That's what this man wants from you. He wants you to heal his finances, okay? He knows you're a healer, and he's try, trying to, you're a spiritual healer. He's trying to skirt around that. Just heal me in the, in the, in the earth realm. Because one thing about these demons, they know who's who. They know who has power and who doesn't. And this man knows you're powerful, but he doesn't care about your spiritual power. That can't do nothing for him. This man wants you to help him in the earth realm, okay? To help him become wealthy. Okay, this man wants to be a powerful dark knight. He has affiliations to some type of group, okay, in whatever city you're in. And he wants you to help him look good for them or be an, ad an adequate, he wants to appear to be an adequate member of that society. He also wants his health back, okay. And in order to do this, this man will create a facade that you are his main woman, okay. Okay. And that little minion will continue to work for him. I told you that. This man will make you his queen and he will make that minion serve you. Okay? He will make that minion go out and do things in, on your behalf, if you want to call it that. He will make this minion pretend that she is no longer affiliated with him in order to make you his queen. Okay? In order to make you think that something has changed. Because he feels that he can absorb more of your energy and help to put their situation back on the map. But also to help put those kids back on the map. Because their kids are about to be dirt poor, baby, practically eating out of dish pans. Fooling with them. What did I just tell y'all? Food and hunger, baby. The kids is around there sharing a cheese sandwich. What did I just tell y'all? Food and hunger. This man, is he needs new resources. Okay? He may actually take you to the courthouse and marry you. This man is in a spiritual marriage, though, with this minion. He's in a spiritual bloodline. I won't call it a marriage. There's some type of spiritual bloodline union, okay? She's become a part of his bloodline. She's family now. His minion. But this man would actually take you to the courts because he needs to create a counterfeit divine marriage in order for him to get from it what he wants to get from it which is unexpected income and also an unexpected rise in his reputation. He's a thief. And he will steal a marriage from you like nobody. I keep telling you. I keep telling you. This man will come and try to marry you. Because he knows it's the very thing you believe he would never do. Okay? You got a good heart. You've been in love with him before. Marry me. Marry me. Come get me out of my misery. Save me from the demonic forces that are all over me. Let me take this journey with you. Okay? Okay? He's washed up. Free yourself of this demon just as this demon is trying to free himself of his own demons. He's trying to free himself of the karma of the demons he's used against other people. He's trying to cheat and get out of it. Okay? This man has control issues, control problems. So make sure you're loving yourself first because if you love yourself first... This man can't touch you because the energy of the divine, once again, will be all over you, okay? This man will have to flee. Re re uh, resist the devil and he shall flee. This man will have to flee, okay? This man will have to flee. There's no way around it. He will succumb to various demonic entities in his life. We saw it. He will succumb to various demonic energies in his life. He will succumb to the prayers... Of, of covering of the divine feminines that he's messed over. Those people that are praying for covering is going to push him further and further and further into the dark. Okay. This man may try to bring gifts. This man may even try to talk you into communal living with somebody else. 
He'll try to sell it. He'll try to make it seem like financially it's what you want, it's what you need. Okay? He may even try to use religion. Beware that this man starts to say that he's now a Christian or a Muslim or he's now into spirituality. He's been studying Kemet. He's He'll say anything. He'll say anything. Okay? This man will also say he's in separation from that minion, that they talked it out and it's over. You know, it's just for the kids now. It's just about the kids. And then place you in honeymoon energy. Okay? Because this man wants access to your toil and labor. Okay? He wants to be able to benefit from your work. Toil and labor. Is that the next card I pulled? Oh. Did I just pull toil and labor next? Oh. This man wants to benefit. He wants to ride your back out of his crises. Okay? After this crisis is over with, this man is going to leave his kids and that minion in orphan energy. Okay. So forgive this man now from a, from a spiritual standpoint so you don't walk around carrying this because this man was going to also try to pose as your father. This is another way that he seduces and manipulates women. Call in your real soulmate. He's a counterfeit soulmate. He would have also tried to talk you into buying a home. He would have tried to get you to sign all types of deeds. Sign for me to get a car. Sign for me to get a home. Sign for me to get a sign for me. You my wife. You my wife. Sign for me to get this. This man was about to try to pull a whole heist. By posing as your true love. There's nothing but deception, baby. Nothing but deception. This man is a deceptive lover. He's a counterfeit divine masculine. He's a counterfeit twin flame. He's a counterfeit soulmate. He's a demon. Coming from a 250 year long line of demons. This demon is old. So expect reconciliation. This man will try to come back. Saying y'all got chemistry. Saying that he just hasn't been with you already because he knew you was worth waiting for. You know, if you, I knew if you just waited for me, I was going to come back and I was going to take care of you. Here's your ring. Here's the keys to my car. Um, you know, we should do this together. We should do that together. And gradually this will become your financial burden to bear. We should get a new place, but you should come up with the money. We should get a new car, but you should come up with the down payment. We should take a trip, but I need you to pay 70% up front. It's just until I get back on my feet. This is a spiritual war. This is a spiritual warfare, spiritual battle. Consider this the message of concern and the warning that is coming from your spirit guides that it is time for you to retreat from this masculine, okay? Because there is concern about you in the spirit realm. Know that you are protected and covered. And that's the reason that you're hearing what you're hearing. There is a new love coming your way. Give that a chance. Okay? And it is safe for you to love someone new. Let this person go immediately. Okay? If you have enjoyed this Divine Feminine Tarot Tea, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe. Okay? Hit the bell if you want to be here every single time me and the tea team are here getting it in. Okay? Personal readings, dftarot at gmail.com. Okay? And as always, y'all, I will catch y'all in the next one.